Now the experiment is continued by releasing the telescope radial screw once again, moving the telescope further to capture the green color light. Now you can I have got the green color light and it is made to coincide with the vertical velocity. I can just show that now. You can see the green color now. Green color light will be seen, I can see that. Yeah, there you are. So that's your green color line, which is now being made to coincide with the vertical cross line. Now, as before, the radius are taken once again in the vernier 1 and then in vernier 2, they are noted down in the table. So, this will be the main scale reading, the vernier coincidence. This is for the one year two in the same way. So the experiment has to be done once again for the next line which is LO, which will be a doublet, two colors will be seen. Any one of that can be focused. I am just releasing the telescope screw and then moving towards the yellow. I am just choosing the second yellow line, coinciding the vertical crossword with the second yellow line and then you can see that now. You can also see the green and the red one by the side, the right side the red will be seen, by the left will be the green and the middle one is the yellow, that's the yellow. You can see the yellow and the green also by the side of it, the red is visible on the right side. So again, <coughs> as before the readings are taken in the vernier 1 and in the vernier 2 and they are entered in the table column as before. Now to find out the <coughs> wavelength of the given light, whether it is a blue color or green color or yellow color, I will just write BL. So wavelength of the blue light, we have to use the formula sin theta of that blue color divided by N M. N is a standard number which you can find written on the uh, grating itself. We will generally find N as 15,000 lines per inch. If you convert that into the SI units, it will be approximately around 15,000 divided by 2.54 into 10 power minus 2. which will be around 6 into 10 power 5 lines per meter. Approximately this will be 6 into 10 power 5 lines per meter. M is the order of the spectrum which is equal to 1 because this is the first pattern that you are getting. And to find out the theta, to find out the theta, we have to subtract the degrees of the blue color and that of the direct ray, we have to subtract that as well as this one. Same is done for the vernier 2 as well and the average is taken, the average of the 2 is taken. That will be taken as the theta of the blue. Then by using the sign uh, tables, you have to find the sign of the average of the blue color divided by 6 into 10 power 5 and m is equal to 1 and get the answer. That's how the wavelength of blue is found out. Similarly, the wavelength of green and that of the yellow are found out in the same manner. So, this is how the <coughs> wavelength of the mercury vapor lamp is found out using the spectrometer and the plating. Thank you.